Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Steve Adventures video uh, entitled Tired of Tantos. Now of course many of you are probably wondering why we would call a video Tired of Tantos. Is it clickbait? Well, yeah, it kind of is. But here you are, and so let's have a quick discussion about Tanto bladed knives. Now when we think about Tantos, and there'll be a variety of links in the description below, when we think about Tantos, we're primarily looking at the uh, what I love to refer to as the American Tanto. So that would be the uh, Tanto knife that's uh, similar to this guy right here with the uh, clip point, the uh, real abrupt Kisaki with the Ha being fair, got some curve in it and then the Yokote has got a real point in it as opposed to a traditional Japanese Tanto which as we know has a more of a pseudo clip point that comes all the way up and in line with the spine. So people talk about uh, Tantos a uh, fair bit, and some of the criticisms that they have for Tantos is that uh, they might be difficult to sharpen. Well, some steels might be difficult to sharpen, but really the Tanto is not a difficult blade to sharpen. For instance, I have one here, the uh, Cold Steel Warcraft, and this blade is not difficult to sharpen at all, except that the steel is quite hard. I believe the HRC on here is about 60 something. So 59 to 61, I think, is the range they say. So you can see if we look close that this blade has actually been uh, reprofiled instead of having uh, what would potentially, at least in the most people's mind, be a, a partial scandy grind and then ending with a crappy V-edge in the words of DBK Bushcraft. Uh, these guys are, this one is rolled out and laid back into a more scandy grind. It's also a much deeper scandy grind so it does a better job of some bushcraft tax, which we'll circle back to in a moment. And so it's really quite easy to sharpen insofar as it's essentially one long sweep down here on the ha. And then the kasaki is, is a point essentially, so it just stops. And then up here we've got the ability just to, another straight edge. So sharpen, 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 sharpen. It's pretty easy. Honing again is uh, super simple and you just run it over the strop and off you go. So straight, a very light curve. So sharpening is probably easier than you know, your current uh, clip point, spear points and those types of things. People say that uh, this kind of knife is really no good for bushcrafting. Well, one of the things that I like about what cold steel does is you'll see the handle has got a, a variety of opportunities which may not be obvious to some but you can grip it way back here and so you've got more power at the tip because you've just added another inch to your overall length. You can choke up on it for finer tasks. There's even some uh, uh, jimping or choiling on the back of the uh, blade itself. So you can build a shelter with this. It's a really nice chopper and the CPM3V holds an edge forever. Uh, it's great for making fires. The spine is easily sharp enough to throw sparks from a ferrocerium rod. and as long as you're looking, if you're building traps, you really only need to be able to do some minor whittling. You can make tools out of this. Uh, you're probably not going to whittle a spoon with a knife of this magnitude and without having the full curved edge of a spoon whittling. But let's be honest, spoon whittling is for fun. You probably put a spoon in your bag for, well, <laughs> you can get them at Wendy's in a plastic cover for nothing by the handful. I've got a titanium spoon in my bag right now that I paid three dollars for. So really whittling a spoon is probably a project for fun rather than a functional device. And let's face it, you can make a paddle in about five seconds that will do everything a spoon will do except let you uh, slurp your soup. But you can make all sorts of utensils. Uh, often you'll also hear criticism of the Tanto Point as not being so great for game processing. Well, there's always some give ups. Every knife has a compromise. And I'm not saying that this is going to have the long flowing cuts of a skinner if you want to process a full size deer, elk, moose, antelope, bear. But for small game processing, it's actually quite effective. For instance, we talk about the penetration of the Tanto tip. It'll quite easily uh, stick into the top of the head of a fish, one good spank on the handle, and the head comes right off. You're not fooling around trying to jimmy it off. You don't have to whack it off and hope you get it in the right spot if your edge alignment isn't 100%. You just put the tip where you want it, spank it in the butt, and the head comes right off. Wings on a partridge will do that. Most of your small game processing, this is crazy powerful. 
frankly, I found it to be quicker even than some of my uh, former tools. And so, yeah, are you really tired of Tantos? Well, I'm not, except that I'm tired of hearing how bad they are. Every knife is a compromise. I happen to be in love with how a Tanto looks. For me, part of buying a knife is every time you take it out of your pocket, you should think to yourself, wow, that's an awesome knife. And it really is. And this little guy will absolutely open a package of hot dogs like nobody's business. And it's not scary. It's even safe for uh, domestic flights in Canada, at, uh, just under three centimeters in length. So tired of Tantos? Yes. I'm kind of tired of the, all the jibber jabber that says that a Tanto is not a capable, bushcraftable, easy to sharpen, fun to use tool. Uh, again, pick what you like. If clip points and spear points are doing it for you, if sheep's foot are really what keep you up late at night, get that. Because it's still going to do a great job. But for me, it's really the Tantos. Now, of course, there'll be links in the description to the below to a couple of the pieces we've talked about. And as a sh I hope that you'll have a, had a great time with our video today from Steve Adventure Academy, Tired of Tantos. Feel free to leave a comments and questions in the link below, and I'll be glad to answer them for you. Enjoy your day.